Do you love science? Do you love discoveries? Well, today at Unexplained Mysteries, we have three astounding scientific discoveries for you to marvel at. Giant Lake discovered under Greenland may be millions of years old. The country of Greenland is a huge place with thousands of miles of still wild landmass. The country is in many ways a geological haven in a world where much of the earth has been explored. And this view has been proven to be true, such as when scientists in 2020 discovered a giant ancient lake hiding beneath the country's surface. Beneath thick layers of ice and snow, far into the northwest region, sits a lake that could be thousands, if not millions, of years old. Greenland is home to the planet's second largest ice sheet. Coming in behind Antarctica's gargantuan sheet, the Greenland sheet is also believed to hold plenty of fossil, bacterial, and geological mysteries deep in the underground. With global temperatures increasing, the great ice sheets have started to melt, which has begun to slowly reveal things hidden beneath the ice for millennia. This fossil lake bed discovery is just one of the more exciting examples. Such a geological formation has never been observed in this part of the world, but there could be plenty more hiding beneath the ice. In fact, it was during the same discovery expedition that scientists found more than 50 subglacial lakes under Greenland. Almost as if they were trapped in time, these bodies of water are completely thawed and exist between the country's bedrock and the giant ice sheet above them. But this specific lake is what scientists are most pleased to find. The discovery is what is known as an ancient lake basin, which dried up long ago and is now full of sedimentary goodies that span thousands of years. Researchers stated that during the time that the lake originally formed, there would have been no ice in the Greenland area. Amazingly, at its peak, the lake would have catered for enough water to cover approximately 7,100 square kilometers. That is the same size as the states of Delaware and Rhode Island combined. This could be an important repository of information in a landscape that right now is totally concealed and inaccessible, says lead researcher and glacial geophysicist Guy Paxman from Columbia University. The huge lake bed, now named Camp Century Basin, was initially spotted by NASA's Operation Icebridge mission, which is an airborne survey of the world's polar regions. We're working to try and understand how the Greenland ice sheet has behaved in the past, says Paxman. It's important if we want to understand how it will behave in future decades. 100,000 Star Nurseries Mapped Stellar nurseries, the areas of space which give birth to millions of stars in the universe, might be a little different to what scientists have previously believed. With a revolutionary type of survey, physics at high angular resolution in nearby galaxies, or FANGs, researchers have been able to chart over 100,000 stellar nurseries across 90 galaxies. And it is thanks to this brand new type of survey that we are beginning to learn that these nurseries are much more complex than we thought. The early stages of a star's life last over the span of tens of millions of years. Over that massive length of time, the plumes of gas and space debris slowly build to create what are known as protostars. This is the stage before a star is truly formed. Then these protostars begin to change, slowly turning into massive depositories of plasma which is fueled by fusion, just like our very own Sun. But now we know that this process, and how fast and efficient it really is, depends entirely on each individual stellar nursery. We used to think that all stellar nurseries across every galaxy must look more or less the same, but this survey has revealed that this is not the case, and stellar nurseries change from place to place, lead author Adam Leroy from The Ohio State University said of the research. These nurseries are responsible for building galaxies and making planets, and they're just an essential part in the story of how we got here. The survey took five years to complete and focused its view on the parts of the universe closest to the Milky Way. With the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, radio telescope located in Chile's Atacama Desert, the astronomers were able to focus on the fledgling formations of protostars caused by dust and gas. To understand how stars form, we need to link the birth of a single star back to its place in the universe. 
It's like linking a person to their home, neighborhood, city, and region. If a galaxy represents a city, then the neighborhood is the spiral arm, the house the star-forming unit, and nearby galaxies are neighboring cities in the region," said Fang's principal investigator, Eva Shinnera. These observations have taught us that the neighborhood has small but pronounced effects on where and how many stars are born. Clouds in the dense central regions of galaxies tend to be more massive, denser, and more turbulent than clouds that reside in the quiet outskirts of a galaxy," said co-author Annie Hughes, an astronomer at l'Institut de Rocher en Astrophysique et Planétologie. The life cycle of clouds also depends on their environment, how fast a cloud forms stars, and the process that ultimately destroys the cloud both seem to depend on where the cloud lives. With all this new data, astronomers hope that it could lead to a better understanding of how many different stars form, including our very own Sun, and that it may lead us to discovering more about our early solar system. This is the first time we have gotten a clear view of the population of stellar nurseries across the whole nearby universe. In that sense, it's a big step towards understanding where we come from. While we now know that stellar nurseries vary from place to place, we still do not know why or how these variations affect the stars and planets formed. These are questions that we hope to answer in the near future. Earth's core is growing lopsided, and scientists don't know why. From far away, Earth looks pretty symmetrical. And although our home planet might spin on a little bit of a tilt, you would be hard-pressed to find anyone who thinks the Earth was shaped weirdly. But scientists now understand that our planet's core is growing lopsided, and they are not entirely sure why. The discovery comes after data revealed that the Earth's core is losing heat in greater amounts under Indonesia than Brazil, and this is having effects on the seismic waves passing through the core. Seismic waves and tremors made by earthquakes are the only way scientists can really see the Earth's core, and what scientists can identify is that waves passing across the equator move much slower than those across the poles. This has been known about for decades. In fact, it is called seismic anisotropy. But now researchers believe that a recent study shows that the core's lopsidedness is the culprit. According to the report, every year the Earth's core grows slightly more lopsided, meaning that its iron crystal forms faster on its eastern side than its west. The movement of liquid iron in the outer core carries heat away from the inner core, causing it to freeze, lead study author Daniel Frost said. So this means that the outer core has been taking more heat from the east side under Indonesia than the west under Brazil. One image to use to visualize this odd growth is that of a tree trunk. The rings of the tree grow from a central point, but it is rare that the central point is actually in the center of the tree. This results in one side growing faster than the other. If you were to cut the earth in half, you might see a similar thing. Still, Scientists were keen to point out that the asymmetric growth does not mean the Earth's inner core is strangely shaped, and it does not mean there is any risk of imbalance. But what do you make of these curious discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.